Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to show character count in Word. You ever want to know how many characters your Word document had or you want to highlight something and see how many characters that is? I'm going to show you how to do this on the Office 365 online app, Word app, and the desktop Word app in this video. But before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos we come out with every Thursday. You might need this for, like I said, an essay. You might need to know the, word, the character count for it, or you might need it for some other reason, but this video will show you actually where those are on the desktop and the online app. All right, time to get going. First thing you wanna do, we're gonna start with the desktop app. We're gonna go down to the bottom left and bring up the little Windows Start Window menu. And you're going to go down all the way down to where you have Word. I already have the document open, so I'm just going to go right down here. So to open the document you want to have the Word count on. You select that. And as you can see, I wrote something here so we could have an example. But you want to look, when you get onto your Word document, you want to look to the bottom at the status bar, which is this. And you want to right click on the status bar. And then when you do that, you're going to look under Customize Status Bar and you go down to Character Count because that's what we want to do. And you can add word count too, so we'll add them both. So you do that, and then as you can see, they popped up down here below, and it tells you the, four, uh, the character count is 42 characters. That's with spaces, because that's what I wanted to see. And if you highlight a certain part of it all the way to here, it actually will give you, see, it splits it. So you have 30 characters on this, and there's a total of 42 characters. So that's how you add, you can have the character count put on the bottom status bar so when you're doing your documents you always know how many characters it is and if you wanted to see what a certain part is you just highlight it so that's how you do on the desktop now let's jump on to the online uh, app for word and actually I have one open already so we're gonna go on up to here and it says I think this is the right one It's this one this one okay this is my online um, word I want to look at document and I want to do a character count here, but how do you see it's down here? It makes it kind of weird because you're like, well, how do I do it up on here? Well, the way to do that is you're going to go up to, I think it's review. It is. So you want to go up to this top line. You're going to go over to review. And then you see right here, word count. And hit the little down arrow next to it. And then it says word count, showed word count. We're going to do that really quick. And when you hit word count, it gives you this little window. And if you notice, it tells you characters with no spaces, characters with spaces. So there's 671 characters in this, this thing. But let me say OK. Now, if you want to just find out how many characters in a line, highlight it. So hold down your left, um, left mouse button and then drag across and then let go. And that highlights that. And then you go back up to this word count and you click on that. And you say, OK, click on word count again on the menu and look what it does. It tells you 34 characters with no space and 37 characters. So this is how you can actually do that on your online word app. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy and it's nice to know how many characters. I wish the online app would actually put it on like a status bar, but it doesn't. So but this is the way you get to it on your online word 365 app. And that's it. That's how easy it is to show character count in Word on the desktop and on the online app. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.